gonna be playing an Obi Wan telling you a crazy story about backstabbing friends, as well as a bunch of funny, weird, and interesting things. Let's get into it. Okay, Norris, that's the first thing that I wanted to ask you was, who does everybody think their celebrity lookalikes are? Oh. And who do you think every, all the other Norris' celebrity lookalikes? Are? People have told me I look like Joey King. I do feel like you, I feel like you don't have a hair, obviously, but you do have a, you do kind of look like her face. Joey King. People have told me that, or well, my family has told me, Naz and Saber to be specific, specific that um, I look like JJ actor from. No, we said you look like that other guy. From yeah, Mom's yeah. boyfriend. I think you look like a mixture of JJ and him. No one has ever told me I look like someone. People also say I look like Sophie Dosey. Oh yeah, yeah. Not real. I wouldn't say you look like Sophie Dosey. Yeah, yeah. Somebody said I look like Nancy. From Stranger Things. Couple people. I don't feel like I look like. You don't look. Nah. Nancy from Stranger Things. Do yeah, I don't feel like I look like. Are you sure they weren't asking about me? What? Are you sure they didn't say that I look like? They said. Well, unless your name's Naz. Oh. oh. No one has actually ever said I look like someone. I've never. I feel like somebody looks like Taylor Swift. <gasps> oh. If I look like Taylor Swift, then you look. <laughs> this is gonna be a lot of fun. Nah, Naz, if I look like Taylor Swift, then you look like Billy from Stranger Things. This, this... Yeah, but let's be honest. I, I think you do look a little oh. bit like her. Like, what does everybody think of the NPCs on TikTok? They go, mm, ice cream, yum. And like people. I think it's a great idea. It's just like basically super smart. I think it's very annoying, to be honest. I find it very. And don't watch it, you know what I mean? I don't watch it. That I just know about it. But I think like it's very smart. It's mine in what way? Naz has been told that she looks like Missy from Young Children, but Naz doesn't like hearing that. People say when I was a kid I looked like Missy. I don't think I look like her. I don't know if I really have a celebrity look alike. You, you don't have a celebrity look alike? I don't think so. Right. Getting our wisdom teeth out soon, do you know how long you have to fast for? How long? Guess. The night before? Hmm? Two days. No, we can't. It's our operation isn't until the afternoon. No! No! Yeah. No! So as soon as it gets past 7 a.m., no more eating. So what, what time is the what time is the appointment? Like at two or something. No, I can't do that. Oh my god. So this is dumb. I'm not booking for so late. Oh, because it's the only time available. <laughs> the whole life, they wouldn't take that. They would done like right, like this time anyway. It's not causing me any pain. Why? I didn't, I didn't need to get. Bro, explain their life story. I didn't need to get my wisdom teeth out straight away. Cause they're not causing me any pain or anything. Yeah, but you've got braces, so when they come out, I haven't got braces. Around. No, you, you the, the bra your braces made your teeth straight, right? Yeah. yeah. So. So the logic isn't so, making sense. So, oh. Where's the logic? So when your wisdom teeth come through, then they're gonna go all wonky again because you're pushing your teeth um, forward or something like all the other ones, and then you say got braces for nothing. Oh. Okay. Right. That's why I'm getting them out because it doesn't be done right like this second. It could be done like next month. When next month comes, then you'll be like next month. Right. Right. Yeah. Like I don't want to like not eat all day. I'm gonna be so grumpy and stuff. Oh, say, no. say it's one day. Say it's, it's one day. So busy. Honestly, are you like? It's not a big deal. It is a big deal. That's like seven hours. I can't. No, it's more than that because I'll be asleep. No! It's better be a prank. It's not that deep, Saber. It's not that deep. It is that deep! Really? Are you that tricky? Yeah! Don't be skinny. Why? It is annoying fasting for that long. I know it's annoying. Oh, I don't want to do it either, but it's not the. It's not like you just like go for it without oh, eating. Can you, who remembers when we did that prank on Saber at the Asian food place? And we're like, Saber, so you have to fast her, and we bring her all the way to the restaurant, and she's like so mad. Yeah. That was crazy. This level is literally doing my head in. So I'm not gonna be able to eat forever after that? Oh my god, chill bro. It's just food. <gasps> oh, it's just food, yeah. It's just the only thing you need to survive. You get your wisdom teeth out and then you tell me it's not that deep. It's not that deep. Who do you think's the most mature? Me. That's what do you want to say, you? Yeah. No. It's either me or Saki. It this is what I think. It is not Saber. Being mature doesn't mean carrying on a whole heap of makeup. That's not mature. That one there was a violation. It's immature. I think Saber. That one there was a violation. Nah, <laughs> did you just fully like ask this question just to like get a reaction? No, I'm not trying to be mean. Well, but it seems like you are. That one there was a violation. Oh, you... Come on, be real. That one there was a violation. Be real. What do you think you are? Who do you think is? You think no one is except for you? That one there was a violation. Probably Socky. Oh yeah. To be honest, Socky's probably the oh. most. I reckon I'm the most 
person. Agent H knows that must rank the order from least mature to most mature. Really, I think we're saying beef, honestly. Socky, do you think I'm more mature than that? Uh, uh, in what way? What in every mean? way. In mature ways. What does mature really mean? Like, it's basically just not being immature. Naz wants me to like basically say like, oh, you're so great, Naz. Now just ask this question so we all be like, yeah, Naz, you're so Nigga, it's mature to be whinging about this. That one there was a violin. Oh. Oh. Like, I don't know, what do you want to want? That one there was a violin. It's not mature to be whinging about who's the most mature. <laughs> Bro, I just got roasted. I don't, to be honest, we're all not really that mature. I think in some ways we are. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm probably more the most mature out of you. Yeah, but yet again, and you probably might not think it is because like, oh, oh, I know something. Yeah, it's like, oh, it's like, oh, something. What ways do you think Biggie's mature? Um, I think Biggie's maturing, um, you know, making sure he puts the babies first or someone who's more vulnerable. Selfless sort of thing. Like, he's very selfless, so I think it's pretty mature. Oh, is super um, I don't think he, I think he, yeah, I think he, you think he, she thinks he. I think he's pretty good at solving things for himself or, hmm, hmm, hmm. I think Biggie like is very selfless, so I feel like it's pretty mature. Um, he can, he can get stuff done if he wants to. Yeah, he's pretty good like uh, that. A little bit of a skittish boy when stuff doesn't go his way. <laughs> yeah, I think I agree with Saki. I think Biggie's very good at like putting people first and he's very selfless. Like if like for sure if broke in, I feel like Biggie would be trying to protect the family, not himself. For sure, for sure. Like he's kinda like a man, the man of the family sort of thing. But no. the man of the family. Yeah, but like the the man the second man of the family. What? Technically yeah. speaking, that's because I am. <laughs> yeah, but like you know, I feel like if Papa um, sadly passed away, then you would be like yeah. really good. I would feel the. I feel like if Papa passed away, I would replace him. <laughs> no way. Well, I feel like, like you organized. Know, you know that guy, Val? Val, you know that guy. You know that guy. I am. That's the thing. You're not funny. So I would replace him in terms of like getting to like certain locations and being the smart, like how he's the Karen of the group, thinking she. No, being a, the, 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 that's a biggie and that's the understand being a Karen, like saying to follow rules and stuff. No, you're like an, you're like a, you're, you're like, like that's that annoying like little. You're a little bit of a dummy bob. Yeah. No, that, <laughs> I'm not. I feel Bobby like Bobby I let you, I right. let these kids slide with so many things. I just it's just like. Following rules of being a normal person. Um, so our, our grandma was babysitting us, and so, so we were gonna watch TV while it was Saki went on a walk, cause Saki chose to go on the walk. <laughs> watch TV the whole time. Doesn't matter. They weren't allowed to. We were. Oh. Do you get mum up here and then she can give you guys? This is what being a Karen is. See, then she's right now like, no, mum, can you come up here? Oh my. I acted like a Karen because I said you guys aren't allowed to watch TV. You, but you wanted to watch the TV when we came home, and then like, but you didn't want us to watch it when you were gone. That is being a Karen. There's nothing changing my mind, Socky. There was no TV the whole time. <laughs> you wanted to turn Bluey on, Socky. Mum said no TV for us older kids. They can, the little kids can watch okay, TV. I to talk. So Socky's clearly right because she was the only one who wanted to implement the rules that we. That's our Quinlan. And that's being mature. It's not no, like, no, 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 it's just being a Karen. I think, Sophie, I'm just you're still young and you do not understand the Sophie, concept of following rules. So maturing is realizing that dobbing is bad. No, because you young pups need to be to a lesson. Oh. Oh. Young pups? What do you go for? Because I've ever walked this no planet. Way. Now if I say young Did I just pup. call us a young pup? Yeah, come on. <laughs> come on, guys. We, 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 we just, you just proved that point. <laughs> All right. I, I feel like it's like it's mature in ways of like, if something bad happens, she'll stay calm. And mom, we with mom, she'll stay calm. All right. What ways does everyone feel like Saber's mature? I don't. <laughs> don't be me. I am. I don't like smoke, vape, do drugs. Oh, I, I don't. I, I do the basics of surviving. Saber, you're a basic human being. That doesn't. You're a basic human being. That's great. I feel like Saber's mature in ways like um. I guess like ways like. She's just trying to think. I feel like Saber's mature as in like. I think yeah, it's taking a while. No, I, I do agree with Saber. Like I think it's really good that Saber doesn't do like some things that like people around her age is kind of cool to do like things that aren't good. And I think that is good that she doesn't do stuff like that. 
I think safe is mature as in, I think moving out at an early age does prove a bit of um, maturity. So that's how I think safe is mature. All right, so do you reckon we should move on to the next question? Yeah, <laughs> that's because right. far away from this question is possible. Who's the prettiest source? <laughs> Socky. <laughs> kidding. What is a weird fear you have? So, like about like four, Socky, um, Mum and Papa took me and Socky to Dreamworld, like as like a family like vacation, and like um, and we like stayed at the theme park, which is really cool. Um, wow. Anyway, there was a show that was going on in the um, Dream World, and they like called, they like picked a random kid out of the audience to come and like on the stage and get slimed, like in this like orange tub. Oh. And I remember watching that, and I remember being so petrified afterwards. Like it was like I was like. I, I, I don't think I've ever been like that scared in my entire life and I don't know if I even know why it's like it's just basically green water Oh and for yeah. some reason that really scared the crap out of me That is, that is scary really? And then when I was, up till I was 12 I had a big fear of slime and with the Ellen show I had to like you know get slime for the Kids Choice Awards I wasn't in the show but like it was for the Ellen show if that makes sense Anyways I remember feeling so scared beforehand because like a couple of days prior they said, oh, say you're getting it slimed. I was yeah. like, I was like really, really nervous. Anyways, it wasn't as bad as what I thought it was. That's good. You didn't really get, didn't slimed. Really get slimed. No, you, you moved from the spot that they said you need to go. Yeah. He was like, yeah, this is the only spot. And you're like, mm, no. Yeah, that is exactly. pretty true. <laughs> yeah. Tell you what's a really weird fear I have. What? So, you know, obviously I had um, bass and cheddar. What? But my, obviously I have. How are they a fee? No, no, just, just wait, okay? So, I, I own two guinea pigs, Baz and Cheddar. But my biggest fear is rats. What? Rats? Yeah, but I own a guinea, two guinea pigs. No, I love them. Yeah, that makes no sense. But I, my biggest fear is rats. They just, they freak the living out of me. Like, they, they chew on you. <laughs> they chew on you. I've never heard of a rat chewing on me. No, guinea pigs are like fluffy and cute though. No, they're not. Your ones aren't fluffy. My ones are fluffy. No, they're not. I'm so confused. What's a weird fee you have, Biggie? Biggie. Yeah. What's a weird fee you have? Oh, people um, chewing as well. Whoa, whoa! You have a fee of people chewing? Oh, it was not only a fee, but like... I'm, I'm all right, Norris, I think it's time for our crazy backstabbing friend story. It's like, cause I feel like because we're always with each other, like we, we've got like, um, like yeah. not much, we, whenever we explain a story, like everyone's normally there. Right. But you can always tell the pod it. I never know if I should say the pod, because like I always feel awkward oh, saying. Okay. So we're going to tell you like the entire process and like we'll, you, we'll get along to it soon. So just keep watching. So, this girl is my friend. I would say she's like all of our friends, honestly. My med friend, like mid friend. But you had a crush on her? I thought I had a crush on her. So cheesy, bro. My you did? I think it was a birthday party. And we and they they ruined, like, they were really mean to the birthday kid, but you'll see, like, what happened. It was like a setup. Wait, it wasn't even her birthday? Whose kid's birthday was it? The one that they. That, um, oh, really? Well, so, our friend, we were playing with oh, Sarah. Our friend Sarah, well, of course. No, we won't call her Sarah. Sarah's too nice to the name. We'll call her Angela. No, let's just talk, call her Toby. Toby. No, Frankie. Frankie, yeah, that's cool. No, Frankie. No, no, no. Her name's Raquel. No, because that's oh, the other guy in our show. Amelia. What about oh, The Rock? Oh. The Rock. <laughs> I got a good one. I got a good one. Amelia. There. Oh, oh, Amelia oh. makes sense. Amelia makes sense. Okay, Amelia. So in Amelia's <laughs> crib, her bedroom, Biggie and me were in her room, and you know, she was showing us her dolls. Yeah. Which, anyway, a five-year-old was like, we could hear. Wait, say it again. Say it again. Viral. <laughs> Stop. Viral. A four-year-old was walking down the hallway. A <laughs> Was walking down the hallway and could hear her footsteps. Right. Anyway, she said, "Say I'm not here." Like, okay, bet. Like, homie's got your back. Like, you know. Yeah. Like, four-year-old came in and was like. Where's Amelia? And Big and me were like, Not here! Uh, not here, uh, gone. She said, tell her I'm not here when like signing it all, like, and all, all that sort of stuff. Yeah, she said, yeah, she, she said. She was like, uh, saying us up. She was like saying, don't, don't say I'm here when she was. Big and Tucky ended up looking like they were excluding her. Yeah. And, um, Just because Amelia said the most. Like, be nice and follow her rules, but this turns out people will stab you behind your back. Like, this is the best bit. Four year old goes away crying because she, you know, I think she, I think she saw. Cause you're mad? Like, no, no, I think she saw Amelia. 
Big Ethan thought he's saving his soul and still didn't go and run after her. <laughs> they like stayed in the bedroom and like watched her crying in the hallway. Mom was back. He was in the bedroom like staring at the sky, not knowing what to do. Anyway, Amelia runs out from her safe spot, like rushes after the girl to give her a cuddle. When she specifically told us to tell yeah. the girl to get out of her room. And then like, that's all like, I don't really care if the girl hates us, but this Amelia told the parents. She like squeaked, she was like squeaked and then, and the parents were like despising everyone. No. The kid came up running to the mom, like just absolutely crying yeah. in front of like every single kid's parents. So there was like 20 parents. Everyone was sitting in the same spot and like, yeah, just, like the kid was like, Biggie and me, he didn't even do anything wrong, but was just told to say to the little girl to get out. Okay, it was bad. We, meanwhile, Amelia is sitting there cuddling the girl. She said to get out of the room. And that's her mum was with it. Still, we stuck to the moral code. We were not tattled. We still okay. stuck there and we took it on like jams. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't really talk to her ever again. <laughs> anyway, that's all for our backstabbing stories. Thanks so much for listening to us today and coming along with us. Catch me in Atlas. I wanted you. Want